I've heard a lot of this with this prison stuff where these guys suck these women in and they use them. You guys really aren't supposed to be here, right? What's up, YouTube? What's cool? What's green? What's happening? It's time for life and it's also time for love after love, baby. So today we are looking at Jessica and Maurice. New videos every day, by the way. Jessica Maurice, ding dong, that's where we left off. Jessica Maurice had left uh, LA and left California to go to Nevada where Jessica is and that's also where her mom and dad are and now they're visiting the mom and dad. Roses or whatever flowers in hand, ding dong, here comes the family. They're opening the door, Maurice is embracing the mom, giving the flowers, she jokes and says, is this for Dave, which I guess is the husband. And then he shakes hands with the husband. Then there's the dog and he's like, <laughs> you the person I've been hearing about. You the person I've been hearing about. I'm like, person, that's not no person, but okay. In any case, <laughs> And also, I'm like, you should be careful as a black dude. You don't know how many black dudes have been in that house. You should be careful as a black dude going, stepping up to a dog, all close like this, all up in his face. Because I know, I've seen firsthand, and I know firsthand that some dogs can flip. If they haven't seen a black face before, they, they can see it as a, as a threat. They could be black themselves, but they can see it as a threat. I have seen this before. I know it can get really dangerous. Just saying, but he's all up in his face, all like this, like to a dog that he's never met before. But anyway, he's trying to, you know, fit in, trying to be friendly to everybody. You know, at this point, hey, if that cost him a dog bite, I think he would just take it. Then Maurice is all like, ooh, it's nice. Not here. And I'm like, oh gosh, as an ex, as an ex felon, like to come to a very nice house of people that are obviously affluent, um, obviously quite rich, well to do to be like that i don't know if they're gonna immediately think like oh my god here comes this black man is he coming to steal our stuff is he like like why is he all like, like that's one of the first things that he says right and uh, any other person you'd be like okay they just appreciate the beauty they themselves have their own business or their company or they're just working a good job that's all cool in the gang but now it's like mm, no anyway then they sit around the kitchen around the kitchen area and he's complimenting the mom on the mom's looks saying that Jessica is basically a younger version of the mom and the standard thing that people always say but we've heard it all before and quite frankly we ladies we are tired we want to hear new things so everybody's just like yeah <laughs> yeah and then the mom is just asking like what have you guys been doing and they're like oh nothing chilling this and that he's been doing Fortnite, and the dad is like oh, all day what have you guys been doing i mean doing nothing he's playing in his uh Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> what is it Fortnite? Video games, huh? No, I never did. I never had time. All I ever did was work. Video games. If I had time to play video games, I would have loved to. I was busy working, and everybody's like, "Well, yeah." So then they get to just small talking and just talking and stuff like that. And Maurice is talking basically about his parole, and he's like kind of in this excited mood where, or excited mode where he's like just talking, trying to trying to you know get a conversation going, trying to show that he's nice, trying to show that you know he's verbally skilled, trying to show that he's a nice person, genuinely nice, trying to make sure that they they can bond with him. And so he's like overzealous and he's like just talking. You know why you get that way when you're nervous and you're around people that you don't know and you're like wondering will they like me? And he's like just talking, talking, talking. And he's like oh yeah, oh it was like quite a run around with the parole people because he was trying to you know get it switched from you know California to Nevada. And then he kind of slips up, right? Because he says the thing that him and Jessica had said that they wouldn't say, which is that he has basically hop, bump, skipped parole across state to be there in Nevada. And he's not supposed to be. He's supposed to stay in LA till the parole is over. So then he kind of slips up and the parents are not happy and not having any of it. They give me a run around. At the parole? Yeah, uh, that was because I'm trying to get a uh, switch to uh, Nevada, and that was like, we got to wait. So, you guys really aren't supposed to be here, right? Dad, especially, is not pleased, and he wants to have a. You guys are doing something that's breaking the rules. No more. No more. So, the rules are the rules. Yeah. You follow them. It's you the can pass. get your butt in trouble. Yeah. It's not worth it. Go outside and have a little talk. Yes, sir. So to be continued, but if that were me, dinner's canceled. You guys are going back 
you're going to pack up your stuff because you know in america everything is super far away from each other so they're probably maybe miles and miles away from where their house is get your bum back okay get your bum back to your house pack up all your stuff and go way back to california you guys are not staying anywhere near here like everything is council like even this chat they're gonna have not necessary pack your stuff and go it was nice meeting you i'll see you again in a few months or however long parole is but this is not the time because this is wild it's crazy i can understand if you look at jessica like she's established she has her own really nice house obviously she's not broke she's got her dough she's got a nice house and then she has to be with his family somewhere in compton that was it compton something like that that was not it that was not a way to live i don't know how many months weeks whatever she would have to be there but she was not having her freedom but why not have him stay there and then you be wherever you are but i guess she might be quite concerned about how he will act when he's out there all by himself but you cannot babysit him forever boo boo you need to sometimes let him go you need to let him make his own mistakes but what you guys are doing now i understand that she needs her freedom she cannot be in that house with them while she has her own fine house somewhere else so maybe they would have to be separated for a bit so this parole is over then he can come to las vegas and they don't have to do this looking behind your shoulder kind of thing because they will know that they're good and everything is gucci but hell let's see what the dad has to say in the next episode next week but um yeah next uh, was it tomorrow i'll be back with another video so make sure you're here make sure you hit bump stomp as zone to that subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think would you jump parole like this knowing that you have two strikes and three strikes you're back in prison for good okay that's what jessica said in the last episode tell me what you think and like this video because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell whilst you're at it i'll see you in the next one which will be tomorrow daily videos up on this channel and we do everything up in here not just love after lockup it's a lifestyle channel make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right god bless